Good morning, guys. Let me put you guys right here. So I'm going to excuse me, but I'm going to I'm going to eat my little cinnamon roll while I'm talking to you guys. Okay. Uh, it's a it's a bear claw. It's a Danish bear claw. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this and drink my coffee while I'm talking to you guys. Okay. Now I'm going to talk about why. AMC is not going to squeeze. Some people may not want to hear this, but it's just my opinion. I'm not saying it's not going to ever squeeze, but I'm saying right now it's not going to squeeze. Okay. And people are going to be sitting in this for another year. My coffee is great, by the way. AMC, the market. We all know AMC, GameStop, all these are high squeeze potentials, right? Just along with other stocks. You have to pay attention to, have you noticed that while people are waiting and holding AMC, I'm not telling you to sell it, but while people are holding it and they're waiting on the squeeze, people got in for whatever reason they got in. A lot of people got in because people told them to get in. A lot of people got in because they know it was, it's a possible chance to make a lot of money. And some people held because some people, because other people told them to hold. Some people said they're going to hold this to zero. They're going to go down with the ship. So people follow. Okay. And I mean, if that's an investment strategy that you like to use, then, then you know, then, then you use it. Okay. But that's not what I use. Okay. I don't let people tell me how to trade when to sell, when to buy, um, to hold. I don't let people tell me that, okay? Um, because the market, there's sharks in the market, there's wolves in the market. Um, everything, you know, they, they, they will eat you. They will eat you up. The market will eat you up, okay? Other people will eat you up. So you have to learn how to trade and you better learn very quickly because it's just gonna keep happening. And you see, no matter what people try to do to try to stop the manipulation of the market, um, nothing's been done, right? And it's been, don't think this is just now happening. This has been going on since the beginning of the stock market. They found ways to manipulate it and they keep adding rules and changing rules. Um, and a lot of it, I feel like, is, is connected to a big pyramid, okay? Not saying don't invest in the stock market, you just gotta be smart. I feel like it's a big pyramid and no one's going to, if they're part of this big pyramid, right? No one's going to move a brick off that pyramid because other things is going to collapse. So something's going to fall. So they have to keep this pyramid together by any means necessary. So that means with, um, some type of tactics, um, they look at social media. They really look at social media for a lot of reasons. Okay. They can put out news on Twitter and in Facebook um, and just all over the place. Okay. Websites. And they, they push the news that they want to push. Then they let me, they let social media take over to help promote their stock okay because a lot of times they know how social media is going to react so they're getting free asthma advertisement off of youtubers and anyone that promotes the stock anyone that keeps talking about it because that's going to keep them make they going that's going to help them make money right because a lot of times they know the direction by what they put out, they know the direction is going to go. And they can put out information so you can think it's going to go one direction, but they already have it in their mind that once social media get a hold to it and they they turn it how they want or try to do the opposite, that's what they want. They want you to do the opposite of what they're trying to do. And a lot of times they do that or they purposely 
put out information to make their stock to drive the stock a certain direction because social media is just going to take over right on good news bad news whatever and they feed off of that now the stock market is not in the best shape there's no way they're going to let amc run there's no way they're going to let gmc run there's no way they're going to let a lot of these stocks run to the moon they will have a small squeeze because they have to let something like that happen there's going to be small squeezes small run-ups okay and as soon as they let go of like like for for example amc it had that little small run-up to what eight dollars and a lot of people thought this was it this was the run people ran the social media they start putting out videos and I already expect this will this is what was going to happen social media pushed it did free advertisement for AMC and other stocks along with other stocks and when AMC knew that they were running with it BAM they pulled it back they made a profit <laughs> they're making profit they're making money okay so you have to be smart um, try not to get in these traps like this learn how to trade learn how to get in and out because it's to the point now where they're using all this technology to to do their um to do their trading to keep control of the market ai is already in effect they probably already got ai like going and ai is probably working with along with the other rims and it's probably way advanced in what they're trying to give us um like AI is trying to be put out for us the stock market I'm pretty sure they have a way advanced trade uh, trading algorithms um, AI is probably into play at some point so it's hard to beat this stuff but you got to be smart okay and you would think being with a big crowd would help it helps in a sense because you know it helped with um, Wall Street best did their thing and it ran up okay is that gonna happen again? Who knows? Who knows? But I know, but I know they're control. I know they see that and they feed off of that and they work around it and they control it, okay? And this is why I don't think AMC is gonna squeeze this year. People are gonna be waiting another year, okay? AMC, and I've said this many a times, I said AMC is gonna have a run up, but not to the magnitude that everyone thinks. It could, technically, it could run up to like thousands of dollars by looking at the numbers yeah but they're controlling it and you should uh, people should already known that when it ran up to eight it's not going to keep going they were going to take all of that back and they took it all back and ran it all the way back down okay and guess what no one's doing nothing about it not one person doing anything about it the person that are <clears throat> the people that are in charge of um the rules that's supposed to be in place, the laws that are in place, they're not really being enforced because no one's <laughs> no one's doing their job. Like they're not doing their job. They they're doing jobs for other things, but they're not doing the job that needs to be done. Okay. Um, but there's other stocks that are running that's under the radar that no one is talking about. Okay. And a lot of people, and they're making money off these stocks that are nobody are talking about. Nobody. And people are like, people are like, AMC, well, how are they getting these money? How are the hedge funds are getting this money? They should be out of money by now. Like, you would think they would be out of money. They're not out of money. And you're wondering where they get these shares and where they're getting this money to keep paying these, um, the high interest and all this, the cost of borrowing. Like, they're making money off of other stocks that are under the radar that are running and squeezing. Just for example, I've told people so many times, I brought it up, I feel like this stock is gonna start running. And I mentioned it in my other video. It was uh, T2 Biosystems, bio T2 Biosystems, and this um, ticker symbol is TTOO. And I was like, 
this look like it's a penny stock but it looks like it's trying to do something and i know they need to get back compliance need to get back above a dollar so that's the key point i know for a fact it needs to get back above a dollar or close to it to be compliant again so i'm working with that so once i seen that stock and i seen it's trying to do its thing i'm like you know what i'm out to i'm out to just buy a whole bunch of shares so i bought like 3,800 shares somewhere i think it's 3,400 not a lot of money okay and this was like two weeks ago three weeks ago i bought into it then just a, a couple of weeks ago i sold all my mullen shares because i was in the mullen i'm waiting on mullen to go down to 10 by the way okay this is my thought i think i feel like it's gonna go to 10 but i'm keeping an eye on it because once it gets to 10 i'm buying a whole bunch of shares on depending on the news okay if there's a reverse split or not that's how i make my decision so i bought into it and then um it's just it's like on a slow squeeze it's a slow sneaky under the radar squeeze and that's what's happening and that's what's happening to a lot of stocks so go check that stock out i'm not saying for you to buy it but go look at it it's on a slow squeeze and then this morning it just went it just popped way up okay so that's it guys i just want to talk about that bring that to you guys attention you can share this video with anyone else um but that's it I'm not a guru in the stock market, but you know what? I'm trying to learn learn the stock market to where I'm not going to get ate up and spit out. And I'm trying to learn it to where I can make a daily income and travel anywhere in the, anywhere in the world with my phone and my laptop and just make money and live off that, okay? So I don't have to come to a place like this every day, okay? All right, guys, I have to go. I'll see you next one. Take care. Peace.